Alright, welcome to the video. I am Demarius Jackson and today we're going to be talking about ghost tonguing and jazz articulation. Now, if you haven't heard of ghost tonguing, I tried to do a little example of it in the opening of the video. For me, the way that I describe it is simply deadening or killing off some of the vibrations on the reed with your tongue in order to kind of get that ghosted sound. So how do you do it is probably what you're asking. Now the way that I think about doing it is I'm gonna use my, my thumb as my tongue here as the example. All I'm doing is placing my, my tongue on the reed and it's different for everybody. You're gonna have to find that ideal location. But finding the ideal location to where you still have tone and the amount of pressure that you need have that you still have tone, but the sound is deadened. So what I'll do is I'll articulate a, a G for me on saxophone, and then I'll deaden the tone using my tongue. Here we go. All right, so you can hopefully hear the difference. It's, uh, it's kind of a weird sound if you've never done it before, and you'll probably get a lot of uh, really aggressive heart attacks, especially when your tongue is removed back off of the reed. There's a lot of nuance that goes into playing it, but if this is your first time trying to learn it, just simply pick one note and just practice with your tongue going on and off the reed, varying the pressure, like I said, that you need to be able to sustain a tone. So here we go, once more. <laughs> Now, uh, another thing that I will mention, don't be afraid to go off to a certain side of the, the, the reed. Uh, your tongue doesn't have to be exactly forward, and this might be a cliche thing to say, but it's kind of just the way that I think of it. It can often be off to the side, if you can still see me, or off to uh, the other side, or if it works for you to go directly on the, the reed, that might work as well. But it's like all is really, really individual. So the way that I have a lot of students practice this in order, it's a, it's a really hard concept if you haven't thought about it or if you haven't done it before. I'll take a major scale. So I'm gonna use my G scale, concert B flat, and I'm gonna play it up to the nine and come back down. This is just normal, here we go. Now, what I'll do with that, I'll take the scale and I'm going to ghost tongue every alternate note. I'm going to slow it down so you really get a, a chance to hopefully hear it. Here we go. Uh, but what I did for that example is I played G and then I ghosted the A and then my articulation for the next note of the scale, the B, was simply my tongue coming off. So essentially you had this motion without me uh, messing my read up. And that's probably actually a good thing to practice now that I think about it. Just being able to say titan, titan, titan. Uh, be able to do that on one note. Sounds like this. Like I mentioned in the video. And once you get comfortable with that, move on to the scale. Now, from there, like I said, you really want to, first of all, get comfortable uh, playing it on one note. You have to be able to get the appropriate amount of pressure on and off the reed. Once you get comfortable with that, move on to your scales. And then, hopefully, I'll make another video in the future on how we can actually apply this to, you know, transcriptions or just uh, jazz playing. And in particular, sight reading and written music in the jazz uh, genre, if you will. But anyway, that's your uh, first jazz articulation lesson. Hopefully you enjoyed it. You got something out of it. If you did, please like the video. Please consider subscribing. I always have different uh, jazz topics, not just saxophone, but jazz other ideas that are roaming around in my head. Uh, so once again, like the video, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. Until next time, I'm out.